and welcome back to the channel. This is Bradley O212 here again guys. I know you guys used to seeing all the coin pusher videos, but we're gonna do a quick change for the channel. I've got a coin pusher one uploading in about an hour for um about next month because we've already got two videos up at the moment but I thought I'd show you guys a quick trick for anyone wondering um if you've got a flat radio but oh, if you've got a flat radio battery and, and it ain't working these are all brand new i just got them in today they were all flat and this one was already reset but as you see oh, it charges just fine now in a second as you see red light means charging which is good and it works as well as you see there but I'm going to show you guys in this video how to reset any battery. Well, not every battery, but most batteries anyway, that are between, well, there we go, them voltages, as you can see there. But I'm going to show you guys how you reset them. They're all the same, as you see there. Every one of them are all the same. They're my other radios, my six ways, um, and all that. As you see there, they're all my other ones that I have, but they've been set up precisely for different things. But in this video we're going to mainly focus on how to reset any battery that is a lithium and all that stuff as you see there. 7.4, first of all you're going to need a plug that is between 6 and 8 volts. Um, you can push it and put 10 to it and it won't do much. As you see you've got two wires, you've got your negative here with, which is a dark wire and the white and dark wire or it looks like a stripe is the positive. So I'm going to show you guys that this is the one that I just reset. I'm just going to quickly just, there we go. I'll do it on the video, but it's a bit more difficult because it has a little clip. As you see, that's a CST, it means Control System Technology. This is a Blue Fifth. I don't know, different company, probably the same company, because these are from a different type of radio. But as you see, that one's a charged one, so we're going to move that away. These are a flat one, so I'll put it in the radio, like that. Nothing. As you see nothing so now i'll do it on the camera so nobody knows i'm tricking them or anything like that so flat battery so as you see same one same everything i'm going to put it back in the radio and to show you guys that it is flat as you see i'm trying to turn it on nothing watch the charging dock it's going to start flashing to tell you that i'm not detecting it see it flashing i'll zoom in so you can see that See how it's flashing. Watch when I turn the radio on. It's not going to be very pleased. See, it's not detecting it. As I've seen before, it should have been flashing. But look, it's not detecting it at all. So now, look, as you see, even if I turn it on, nothing. It's beyond flat. So now we're going to go to the other route, which is connecting two wires. Let me just zoom out a little bit. As you see, connecting two wires to it. I'm just going to quickly turn the, the plug on. I'll show you the plug actually. As you see, there's the plug. As you see, that's the little plug we're going to be using, using right now. I'm going to show you now. I'm just going to unplug it and show you. But that's the plug that I'm using. As you see, it's a six volt, and we're going to we've basically stripped the wires on it using a. Uh... There we go. As you see, I've just plugged it. As you can see, I'm just going to turn it on now, and you've got to make sure these wires are not touching. Because it'll be like the 4th of July in here, it really will be. <laughs> so you see, two wires, I'm just going to make sure they're separated. I'm turning the plug on. There we go, plug on. So now, <clears throat> we're going to get to the next step. We're just going to move them batteries there a little bit. There we go. As you see, same radio, same battery. It's flat and turning on, still flashing on the charger. See? So now, what you might be able to hear as well, guys, is the radio might make a little beep noise when you plug when you plug the um, two wires to it, even though it's switched off. And that's to say you've got a good connection as well. Right, I need to switch the wires around a minute. So I've got positive on one end and negative on the other. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to go and put one to positive. Make sure the voltage on the uh, charger is a bit less than it should be. I'm going to be quiet so you can probably hear this. 
Don't know if you heard it, but it made a little beep noise, so we're on. Just hold it on for between a minute and 30 seconds. Make sure you don't put negative to positive and positive to negative. You can blow the whole battery up. You might not do anything to it, but you never know, guys. Just stick to what the instructions are on them, really. Positive to negative, negative to negative. So... Give it between 30 seconds and a minute. You could put it, you could turn it on now. I'll show you now. It'll, it'll work now. But what does you say? There you go, guys. It wasn't working then, and now it is. As you see, same radio, same everything. So just keep it on between 30 seconds and a minute. And then we'll see uh, what it's doing. Even if you left that, that radio charger on for an hour, nothing to change. If it's not going to detect it, it won't detect it. See, it's literally, it's literally a brand new battery uh, I bought them today. Well, the other day, and it's arrived today. See, it's not going to scratch wrong, guys. I literally, I've got 20 of these, and I've had to reset all, reset all 20, because they're all beyond flat. I've still got another 10 to reset. I've done 10 so far, and I've got another 10 to do. These are four that I'm going to do on the video here. Might not be able to do all four in one video because my storage on my phone might be a bit low. But should we give it a try, guys? So we're taking it off and putting it in this charger. You want to look for a red light, and there you have it, guys. That is a very, very, very good sign. That means that it wants to get in the charger. You see, it's charging. See the little charging symbol there. It's red. And before, guys, as you see, in that same battery was flashing. So now. If I take it off, it should turn on fine. As you see guys, there it is. Everything is working fine and it'll be reset and it will reset and it'll save you money. Sorry guys, a um, battery like that will be cost you between 25 and 30 quid, maybe, in th maybe even 35 from a company. And if you buy one and then plug, um, Wall charger things for like a fiver, even ten pound if that. But uh, yeah, that's how you reset a battery and all that stuff, guys. So it's as easy as that, guys. Resetting anything, you just need two wires and a charging unit like this. You can even charge it on the wires if you want to, but you can overcharge it. See brand new batteries. See, guys, are just gonna be on flat. Yeah, so that's that one, guys. We're going to do the other, others in a minute. So I can show you guys that every one of these are flat and they won't allow a charge on the charger. So we're going to get to the next step, taking this off. And we're going to literally switch to the next one now. Right, so we're taking that off, you see, good battery. Now that just needs a really good charge later on. So we can switch into the next ones. As you see, just as easy as this, guys. And it'll save you a lot of money. Oh, is it on? I think that's on. I don't 100% now. Yeah, it's on. I see. Turn it on, nothing. See, flashing again. I tell you, it's flat. Telling you it's absolutely flat, and this is not reading the battery, so we're gonna have to result to the next step again, which is the same step I was just doing then. And it's putting po positive to the negative and hoping that it reset. Not all the time does this work, but 50 50 percent of the time it will work. So, looking for a beep again. Yep, I've got a beep, which means it's gonna be tested. Let's check the connections on. Yep. Just hold it here between 30 seconds and a minute and then go straight to the charger. As you see, it's the um, CST radio, control system technology. And just like that, guys, it'll save you money. Even some people aren't bothered about buying another one for 35 quid, but if you can get it reset and work and you can use it again, and it won't matter it'll still charge again so another 15 seconds which should go up to 10 minutes on the video and then we'll uh yeah get to uh, the next one i'm probably going to send this video so about 12 minutes i'll probably be able to do three just because i don't want my phones run out of storage i have to delete it all over again and 
restart it, but yeah, just like that, guys, I'll save you some money. As you see, there's a nice shiny gold on it as well, which is basically new. So, let's put on the charger and up for the best. Let's test if it even turns on. <coughs> yep, turns on. And there you are, guys, just like that. Another one, which is uh, good, and none of these have been tested, so if any fail on this video, then... Yeah, at least it's, it's something. But these ones are flat as well. You see, they're in really, really good condition. I've got 20 of them, and the reason why I bought 20 is I got them at a really, really, really good price. All untested, so it was a bit of a gamble, really. Now, it paid off. I've already done 10 of them so far, and it's already paid off. So, yeah, charges as you've seen. So, let's get to the next one. Just one second, guys. I've got to try and get the charging thing going there. There it goes. Same batteries you see there. And, oh, there's already three. We'll do one more then, guys. I'll take that one out and do that one in a minute. But we'll do this last one. As you see, even if I plug it on the charge on its own, it. Yeah. See, see if then telling you I don't want to accept a charge. So I mean, none of it. I'm not even trying to turn it on and it's having none of it. So yeah, this really does save you some money. There you go. Alright, let's just go to the step again. As you guys already know, I've just showed you then easy as that. Positive here, dark wire to the positive. Do not put it to the T. It can really mess up the radio. I'll just check them on the right one here. I didn't hear it beep. You might have heard it, I didn't hear it, but just check these are all on. Yep, it's on. So we'll go to 12.30. But as you see, guys, just like that, it only takes 10 minutes of your time to do even one or two. It can save you hundreds and hundreds of pounds. If you times 25, 30 quid by these, and that's 20. It's a lot of money. Well, they are literally brand new as well. Da, 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 da. Alright, we'll go to 12 quarter. Let's leave it at that. We'll just test it, check it turns on. <coughs> yep, turns on. Turn the radio on the charger. Right, this is what I was saying before. It thinks that it's not going into charging, so as you guys see, we just go back to the same step. Negative to the negative. Positive to the positive wire and leave it there for another 30 seconds and I'll show you the difference. I'm, I'm glad it did that then. So don't panic and think, oh, it's beyond flat, just another 30 seconds. Oops, sorry about that noise. It's just uh, it's a 10. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, just another 30 seconds on there and you'll notice a difference again. It'll be the same as the other ones. It's caused by the lack of power in the, in the battery itself. So another 30 seconds, so this will be. 14 minutes and then, yeah, let's just try it again. 12 40, we'll give it another try. 13 40, should I say? Let's try again. Alright, there you go. Now it's accepting a charge. So, as easy as that, guys. We have reset all three batteries, which is, I'll just show you guys, it was flashing, now it's not, it's charging. So, thumbs up on this one i think guys and uh, we have reset one oh one two three and four there's another one in there one of these was already reset but i thought i'd uh, put it in the video anyway so another video is going to be up in a minute as well as this i'm going to put this on a premiere for three weeks from now so glad you guys it hope you guys enjoyed it and you're able to reset a battery. Um, you can do it with any type of battery, just make sure the voltage is not sky high. Um, just make sure it's around the same voltage as the battery, or less even. No way, it's 6 volts, 7 volts, even 10 volts if you chuck at these. It just charges a little bit quicker. But hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And I really appreciate that, guys. Comment new ideas for the uh, channel as well. And uh, all that good stuff. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.